The first thing you want to do is take the cover off. Okay, now the theory behind this, this is the magnetic motor and this is the arm, the moving arm. With a clipper, when you turn the clipper on, what you're getting is this is magnetized and this arm is vibrating. The theory basically is this, the closer the arm gets to this mo magnetic motor, the stronger the vibration, the, the stronger the magnetic pull. The farther that this arm is away, the weaker the magnetic pull. The farther it is over that way, the weaker the pull. However, if you get it too close, it will get to the point where it will barely move. And if you get it too far, it will barely vibrate. You want to strike the common medium. The first thing is, you take this screw off and this screw off. And this still won't move because this nut here has to be loosened. So you take and you loosen that nut. Now once you loosen the nut, notice that this can move any direction, right side to side, right? So the concept is we want to get it close as we can, but not too close. You see that? We want to get it close to get up the not too close, and you don't want it too far. Now, notice what happens when you get it too close to the motor. Now, you don't have to put the screws back. All you have to do is hold this and tighten up the nut. Now, when I turn it on, look what happens. motor's running loud and that loud vibration is from the mo this moving arm hitting the magnetic motor and that chattering sound you hear. See that chattering sound? However, it's moving powerful. That's the power we want, but we don't want that chattering sound. So basically what you do is you loosen, a, loosen it up, the nut just slightly not too loose to the point where you can move it over just a pinch so you move it that way now what you want to do is you hold it in place and then you want to tighten everything up now you tight turn it back on now you got a nice sound it seems to be pretty strong so, but what we're going to do is show you what it sounds like, what it does when it's not close enough. So we're going to move it over here. And now we're going to hold it in place and we're going to tighten that up. So this arm, you see, is not moving. So what we want to do is we want to loosen this up and get it back together here. Hold that in place first, get it snug, and then hold this. Then now you can get it tight and turn it on. Now for some people, that's nice and strong, but for some people that might be too loud. So all you do is you hold it, you loosen it slightly, just a pinch. And then you rock it over a little bit. And then you tighten it right back up. And back up. Ah, that sounds good. Nice and strong. Not chattering. Not too weak. Not too far. All lined up. So once it's set in place and everything is running good, now that is tight. It's all set. Now you take your two black screws and you put them back. And then you get them in nice and tight and get them set.
that pretty much lock your setting in. Make sure they nice and tight. So your setting can be locked in and then you put everything back. Make sure this is nice sitting down in the pocket. Put this wire right there. You drop that dial in there. Drop that over there. And now you can put everything back in place. And that will complete your TR line of tune-up.